All right. Well, we are back. Nah, this is what we got. I bought this brand new bike. No, I'm just kidding. This is this is the same bike I fucking crashed into a wall. As you guys can tell, all the wires are hanging out. But we're going to run down what happened to the bike. Uh, topic of this video is going to be about what happened to the bike. The aftermath. Did I get in trouble for the, the crashing? Uh, and what videos are coming up and future ideas for the channel. So, to start things out, we're going to make this intro quick. Because I'm not trying to drag this video out for too long. Uh, so, when I hit the wall... I hit the, if you guys haven't seen the video, I, evidently I crashed his motorcycle, it used to be red. I t First off, we got truck bed liner, like the liner you guys spray in the back of bed, the, the beds of trucks. Coated the, pretty much the whole bike, like 95% of it, and just matte black, because it's like, obviously it still needs to get touched up. Uh, but then I ran out, so, or the store ran out, so I had to get just matte black spray paint and just finish it. It's a shitty job, I know. I mean, it looks cool from a distance, but if you come up really close, you can be like, wow, this thing sucks. But I don't really care, because this bike is just, like, so fun to ride. I'm only here for, like, less than a year left. I'm going to scrap this bike for parts when I leave and get rid of it. And then when I go, wherever I go next, I'm going to get a brand new one, or at least, a, like, a newer one that's not fucked up. So when I hit the wall, I punctured the radiator, so I had to get a brand new radiator. So this is a brand new radiator off eBay. Uh, this is a headlight my friend gave me, even though I bought a Ducati Monster headlight to put on here, a fat headlight. Uh, these indicators I just put on to make it through the gate so I don't get yelled at. They're not installed yet. Um, I got rid of the windscreen. I didn't really plan on it, but I just lost it somehow. Uh, the mirrors are here. Uh, so I need to get like a mesh screen or something for here because I don't want to suck up some bumblebees and shit in there. But it's like since it's so much like exposed, it's so cool all the time. It's pulling in so much air and the exhaust seems to be so much louder. And I forgot how fast the thing was. I was flying and just smiling like a little fucking kid. Um, what else did we do? Yes, yeah, so we got rid of the two side fairings. We kept it naked and just fucking still got the frame sliders. I like the way it is. I mean, I do have to touch up a little bit because you can still there's some silver exposed. I gotta figure out what this is. Spray paint that because I want to coat this thing matte black. I think blacked out it looks sick. The way it is. But yeah, I'm still wearing my jacket. That's another thing too. Like there's some rips and shit in it. You can see where I hit the wall. Another thing to you guys, make sure you guys wear your gear because I pretty much should have broken like at least five bones my body hitting that wall. But I walked away from it with just some just bleeding and some bruises. But yeah, let's uh, let's go off base. And we'll talk about what happened and all the other shit. So, topic of today's video. Uh, hopefully I don't sit in too much traffic. I really have no destination of mine as usual. I'm just going out to ride. It's a nice day and I'm great. I'm just so happy to be riding again. Um, so, topic of today's video. We're going to talk about how the crash happened. Uh, the aftermath of the crash. The consequences I faced from the crash. Because obviously the military blows things way out of proportion every time. And uh, we're going to talk about the future of this channel and the upcoming videos in the next couple of weeks. So starting out with the crash, if you guys haven't seen the crash, it's going to be right here in the description below. You guys can check it out. Um, so what happened was I was going way too fast into a turn. And uh, me, being non, me being not experienced enough, I kind of panicked. And you know, if you guys are on a bike, you do not want to grab the front handful of front brakes. You'll lock up, just like riding a bicycle, you'll lock up the front wheel and you'll eat shit. Uh, but I still eat shit anyway, but I fishtailed because I jammed my rear brake and um, What I should have done was counter steered and used a little uh, and just accelerated more and I probably could have came out of it um, the, the shitty well not the shitty thing is the good thing is about that crash is it's a learning experience um, as shitty as it was at the time <clears throat> Everything happens for a reason. It was a learning experience. I took something away from it um, I took the sign off the wall away from it and uh, some some lessons from it but uh what was i gonna say so i went too fast into the turn i fishtailed locking up my rear wheel and i just went right into the wall and a pvc pipe ended up keeping my bike up from falling again and it was funny because my insurance company there's a thing called like bike rescue and what they do is they uh Oh god, I missed that. Uh, bike rescue. I, I expected a tow truck to come, but it was a fucking. I'm trying. I'm gonna try and keep this video short, but you know me, I cannot stay focused at all. 
Um, a tow I, I expected a tow shop to come, but a really nice Mercedes giant like Sprinter van, I guess they're called maybe. I don't know, but giant van came out with a lift in the back for bikes. Took my bike up, and the guy was strapping it down. And he put too much restraint on one side. He actually dropped my bike again off the ramp onto the ground. And I was like, dude, I just crashed into a wall going 60. Do not worry about it. Uh, so I rode back to base. Had to do a whole bunch of police reports and shit. Um, I was trying to squash it and keep it. Um, let's go left. I was trying to squash it and keep it fucking low key, but my bike wasn't working. Uh, so what ended up happening was the Japanese civilian saw me crash. He stopped, pulled over, contacted Japanese police for me, and then he um, he actually waited with us till the Japanese cops came because it was starting to get dark out. We were in the middle of the mountains and nowhere. Who knows what's up there? Probably Bigfoot. Um, I haven't rode in so long. I just realized rode and ridden in so long. I just forgot I can lane split all this shit. Uh, so the Japanese cops came, they made a report, they contacted the base police, which I didn't want to happen, but they ended up doing it anyway. Uh, so they did that. I got to ride back to base with the insurance guys and did a whole police report. Everyone I work with, my higher ups, my sergeants, everyone found out. I wasn't in trouble. I was wearing gear. I had all of my proper ID and all that shit on. So that's another thing too. I hit the wall on my left shoulder. I'm wearing the jacket still. Um... I hit the wall with my left shoulder and my, my pad took most of the impact, which I think saved a lot. I honestly could have broke my collarbone, my shoulder could have been way worse. So there's some advice right now, guys. No matter where you're going, I didn't expect to crash that day. Just wear gear, you know, because you just don't know what's going to happen. It's better to be prepared than to wreck, you know, be nice and cool wearing just a long sleeve shirt. You know, if that's what you want to ride, you want to take that risk, go for it. But lesson learned, man. Speaks for itself right there. I need to find some straightaways. Alright, so aftermath of the crash, besides all the bullshit, I didn't get in trouble, like I really had no reason to. I have no idea where I'm going right now. Um, so left, so headlight was broken, as I said before, side fairing destroyed, radiator punctured, mirror shattered, but I walked away so I didn't really give a fuck about the bike. Honestly, I crashed and I laughed after, I was like so humped up from like adrenaline shit, I was like, what? But, uh, yeah, so that's about it for the crash. The bike, we're going to ride it the way it is now until I leave here. Um, when I go to my next base and all that shit, I will, uh... Oh, boy. I'm a little rusty. I will, uh, freaking buy another brand new bike, probably. Uh, so... Now, uh, next to my, uh, my next fucking, what, what, what you gonna call it, uh, about a topic. We're gonna, uh, so, next week, I'm leaving for Guam for a week for training, uh, but I will have a lot of time just to chill and absolutely do nothing. Um, so, what I'm gonna be doing is, you know, the typical airdrop shit like you guys saw in my last previous videos. So you haven't seen, like, the day in the life video. You should probably go look and check it out. That'll be at the end card of this video, too. Um... What you gonna call it? Yes, yeah, so we're going to Guam. I'm gonna plenty of videos. I'm bringing my GoPro. I'm bringing my drone. Uh, my friend over there has a fucking a dune buggy. And uh, I don't know what's going on over there? My friend, my friend stationed in Guam has a dune buggy. So we're gonna be. Uh, so here we go. We got some drone videos. We got some uh, dune buggy videos. Some GoPro videos swimming in the water because the water there is insane snorkeling free diving so that's gonna be coming up in the next i'm gonna I'm, I'm only there for a week um so depending on the free time i want to get at least three videos out there i easily can um so yeah that's that's the plan there for a week so next at least, at least two i know i'll have at least two videos in guam so after this video the next two videos are going to be uh videos in guam which are going to be fucking sick then after that uh, I come home for like a day and I go home on leave. Uh, so I go back on leave, which is pretty much like vacation, I guess you could say, in the military, where they can't fuck with you. I'm going home for like over three weeks, like 24 days, something back to New York, where I'm from, to spend time with my family and stuff for the holidays, because I wasn't able to make it home last year for the holidays, which was great. Or not, which was not great, but it's great that I'm able to go home this year. It all works out. So we got Guam videos coming up, and then on leave, I'm going to be uh, making a lot of videos too. At least try to. I know I made one last time I was home. 
Uh, but I'm also introducing something to the channel. I know a lot of you guys have pretty much know what it is or who it is. Uh, you've guessed it. If you don't, put it in the comments below. You'll win a free Pop-Tart. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be making a lot of videos. I'm just going to fuck it. I'm just going to make a lot of videos with her when I'm home. And then, um, yeah, so a lot of great videos on home. I'm going to go to New York City and stuff. So make a New York City vlog. Hopefully fly my drone there. So... We got Guam videos coming up. We got fucking videos on leave coming up when I'm home in New York with her. And uh, I'll just say my friend right now. Uh, my friend when I'm home. And uh, yeah. So I'm going to try and make this video way too short. Just want to say one more thing. I know a lot of you, when I wasn't posting gym videos for a while, a lot of you were actually asking me, like, can you post more gym, video, uh, gym videos, etc. and stuff. So I did. And I like the feedback on them. But my question for you is too, I want to tailor this channel around, because 2018, I just want to fucking put so much work into this channel. So 2018, I want it to be like motorcycle, drone videos, lifestyle, and fitness vlogs all in one. But my question for you guys about the gym, I, I, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I do have a lot of knowledge about the gym and nutrition and all that shit. Eventually, guys, my plan is to open up a gym, and I want to make training plans and stuff for you guys that you guys can buy and stuff and help people out, you know? Because, like, fitness is, like, a priority. It's, like, a lifestyle for me, you know? It's not something that you should dread having to do. Um, so I'm not going to cake on that too much right now because I can talk forever because, you know, these vlogs will go, like, 15 minutes if I just keep talking out of my ass. But what I was saying was, um, uh, buh, 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 fuck. Uh, what do you guys want to see specifically for fitness videos? Would you do you like seeing me voice over the exercises I'm doing? Would you rather me just edit it and put music in it and then put the stuff in the description below? Like, what do you want to see? Like, I want to start going to the gym all the time, you know? Uh, I mean, I go to the gym already, but I want to start recording it and just catering this channel to like everything, you know? I don't want to be that typical motor vlogger or just one fitness YouTuber. I just want to have a variety of content so I'll attract a whole bunch of fucking hamsters to my channel, you know? So yeah, would you, uh, right now in the comments below, guys, because I'm going to wrap this video up in the next 30 seconds, what do you want to see? When you guys see my gym videos, anything in particular about the gym, nutrition, please drop in the comments below so I can, like, we get this channel going again. And what do you want to see? Do you want to see me voice over a workout? Do you want to see me just put music, like, explain the shit I'm doing? Like, I'm going to start working out with people, too, and just maybe make a raw video, like, what do you want me to do? Because I do want to keep making gym videos. I just want to know what you guys want to see, what's the best way to... To vlog in the gym for that shit you know but yeah so we're back on the bike which is great next couple weeks guys uh videos are gonna be great guam i'll leave all that shit and since i'm gonna be recording a lot i'm probably not gonna be waiting to my normal wednesday sunday upload schedule so what i need you guys to do now is follow me on instagram the link's in the description it's also at the end card of this video below too and also turn on my post notifications so every time i uh, i upload a video you guys will automatically get a notification for it because that way, when you guys get that notification, because when I'm home, I'm gonna have all these videos, I'm not gonna wanna wait, so I'm gonna be posting them really randomly. And if you guys wanna get notified when I upload them, because they're gonna be random as hell, because I plan on recording a lot. Uh, so yeah, turn your notifications on below, because I'm gonna be posting really randomly lately in the next couple weeks. And that's about it, guys. So I hope you guys are excited for the next couple weeks. I hope you guys are excited for next year, because this channel is gonna take off next year. But the end of next year, we're gonna have 10,000 subscribers, 100%. And it's not all me, man. And you guys to like, comment, all that shit, too, and help my channel grow. Tell your hamsters, your dogs, your ferrets, your chinchillas, all that shit. And I'll catch you guys next week.